I won. Give me my money. You what? I lost. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. We almost to roll to 1K. Also, hit that like button. Share this content out with uh, other Atlanta sports fanatics. And hit us up in the comment section. As always, come holler at your hometown sports podcast. I hate to be the one I said. This is what happened. If you've been following me for the past year, I've been saying way back since October, November time that we need a culture change here in, in Atlanta. And I said, we need to get rid of Dan Quinn. But then people listened to me last season. I got, oh, man, no. You 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 tripping, you reaching. He took us to a Super Bowl. We need to see what he can do. He's still young. I get blase, blase. Oh, well, no, we don't need the person you talking about. Oh, we need Mike McCarthy. Oh, we need guys. One thing I know about is coaching. All right. I said last year that we should have hired Don Martindale, Wink Martin Martindale, whatever name you want to call him. From the Baltimore Ravens, defensive coordinator. Now, I've done all my research on Dan Quinn, and I did my research on Don Martindale. You want to win the product, you hire someone who's been proven. Dan Quinn was never proven. I've told people this on record. We hired this man off flash back in 2015 because his two Super Bowl appearances with the Seattle Seahawks. One he won and then the other one he uh they lost. And he was only there those two years. Before that, he was with Florida. He was with Will Muschamp. Alright? Before that, yes, he was like a year in Seattle. And then before that, he was with the Jets, defensive line coach. And then he had some years with the Dolphins, the 49ers, you know. But guys, I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to tell you again, Dan Quinn is nothing but a certified positional coach that's all he is and that's all he's ever going to be until we start understanding and start getting getting until we can come to, come to, come to the agreements that hey dan quinn is not fit for this job he will be fired and we need to move on and hire someone that will bring a new culture here in atlanta we lost this game 39 to 40. 39 to 40. 39 points. Matt Ryan threw for four freaking touchdowns. Four touchdowns. And you telling me that ain't enough to win a game? And some of y'all dumb fans send up here complain, still complaining about Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan soft. Matt Ryan should have ran the ball. Matt Ryan should have did this. <coughs> I ain't got COVID-19, man. I'm, just, I'm tired. Of I've been yelling the whole game. Matt Ryan is not the freaking problem. It's the defense. So what if we go in next week? And I know the Bears ain't finna put up no that many points. They ain't got the doggone weapons on offense. But what if we go into the next game and Matt Ryan throws seven doggone touchdowns? What if? What if we, what if we put up 50 points? In the game. But guess what? We already know good well our defense is gonna give up 52 points. That smells a loss. Lost. 
It doesn't matter how much how many points your offense put up. It's about the defense. It's my Bulldog fans. Y'all know y'all remember Eric Russell, the famous defensive coordinator underdog on um, um, Vince Dooley? He said this, and I quote, he said that if we score, we may win. But if we don't allow them to score, we will always win. Defense win games. Defense win championships. Dan Quinn needs to go. I don't care when, but he needs to go. He is holding this team hostage. The player, the personnel is not the problem. And I'm talking about the players. The, the, no one on this roster is the problem. It's Dan Quinn. You guys got to understand that. Somebody said Dan Quinn is cool. No, he's not. We went, we've been, we, we've been doing this ever since this man been hired. Yes, and we did it also in 2016. We started out the first half of the season cold as heck, losing games. And then after a bye week or the second part of the season, he want to start, oh, I got to get my stuff together. Like, no, we can't keep doing this. We need to start off hot and in hot and get a playoff berth, win a division, go deep in the playoffs, get a Super Bowl appearance, and somehow host the Lombardi Trophy and got that parade down Peach Street, all drunk, crazy, wild. I need y'all to I need y'all to wake up. I really need y'all to wake up and understand that this coaching staff is not going to get us anywhere. But at best, a 79 season or a doggone 8 and 8 season. Right now, I feel like we're staring 6 and 10 in the face right now. I don't even think we win in seven games. Look at the schedule. Y'all laughing about Chicago next week, but Chicago defense. <laughs> and look, we just lost Caleb, Caleb McGarry. Gano did play well this this game. I give him the credit on that. But we lost some uh, some good key players in this game. Tack got hurt. We don't know how long his injury going to take him out for. And then I don't even know about Ricardo Allen. So, there you have it. There you have it. But, hey, I'm, I'm done talking about this game, man. Look, I'm excited about the night. Chris Drab, the former Falcon linebacker, he's coming on the show tonight. Make sure y'all tune in 8.30 over on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also, share this content out with other Atlanta sports fanatics and hit that like button, man. Um, join us 8.30 in the night. You don't want to miss it. As always, come holler at your hometown sports podcast. On that note, I'm out. Hey, y'all, don't forget to wear your mask, man. I'm out.